Hi, I'm Bill with Plugged In Golf, and today we're going to talk about the Miura KM007 putter. Let's get plugged in. It's safe to say that Miura is probably one of the most highly regarded companies in the golf industry and known for high quality equipment. The, the 007 is no exception. It has superior craftsmanship and frankly is probably one of the coolest golf clubs I've ever had in my possession. I'll be honest with you, when I first saw the pictures of this putter when I knew we were getting it to review, I was pretty underwhelmed and wasn't that excited about it. Then it showed up at my door and I actually held it and saw it in person and was completely blown away by this thing and couldn't have been more excited to get out on the course with it to review it. So as we talk about the looks of the 007, let's just start with presentation. When was the last time you got a golf club that came in a sheath? like a samurai sword, and uh, I'm not, there's nothing to say. When's the last time you got a golf club like that? So from there, you pull out your new putter that you got, and it's a pretty nice looking head cover too. Further adds to the excitement of what's this club gonna be like for you. Well, like I said in the, in the pictures, it's pretty underwhelming, and because there's no branding, there's, minute, there's no stamping, there's nothing except it's a little bit on the sole of this putter. But when you look at it in person, it's very obvious that this thing is a fine piece of craftsmanship and this isn't made like any other putter you're gonna go pick up at the store. It just looks amazing and completely blows you away. So keeping in line with the theme of perfection with the 007 here, this putter sounds perfect. It's this very traditional click and uh, frankly, again, I've never had a putter that sounds like this. And if I were to tell you I'm looking for an ideal putter sound, this might be it. Feel, it's, it's really the same thing. It has a very, very, very soft feel. Uh, I keep going back to traditional, but you know, it, what's interesting about it is it has that firmness and that responsiveness of a nice, hard, finely forged steel putter, but it's truly a buttery club. And, Everyone throws that term around pretty loosely, but after putting with this, I can tell you what, I know the true definition of a buttery club right now, and this Miura KM007 is certainly a buttery putter. So nowadays, I am not much of a mallet guy when it comes to putters, but this 007 certainly has me you know, second-guessing myself and thinking I might switch to one. Um, it's really a nice performing, solid club. It's very easy to put a good stroke on the ball. And it's one of those putters that doesn't just sort of scoot the ball towards the hole, but really sets it on line and gets the ball tracking toward the hole where it just barrels down on it. It makes you feel like everything you hit's gonna go in. Uh, it's a high performing club. Everything about it's basically perfect. So all in all, I don't think you can go wrong with this. If you like the video you just watched about the Mirror KM007 putter, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube page. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below and we'll be sure to answer it as soon as possible. You can also follow us over on Twitter, at Plugged in Golf. You can like us on Facebook. You can head over to PluggedInGolf.com where you can read more great reviews, find news, and various instructional tips. I'm Bill. Thanks for watching.